How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Boring me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Yeah. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Coming fast. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? It's a whole lake. Huh? Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. We don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Imagine what a clue rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. So Dutch said we can't have any weapons on us, so we're trying to keep a low profile. Deputy Archibald McGregor. 
Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted, man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. Oh. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Catch the train. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Well, I'm pressing. Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm trying to catch him. We're closer. We're getting closer. He won't shut the hell up. like quite a commotion is that him i sincerely hope so old anders anderson so what now take him in come on a fine job well done a pat on the back for me for stopping the train load anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to sheriff gray there you go you are a natural all right let's take him in follow me what about the others Oh, we'll round them up. 
Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. Not very clear. Stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Okay, this way. Ugh. Oh my god. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these brain points. All right. Thank you, out there. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, out there? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Arthur? 
<laughs> yeah, sure, what? Great. Jose, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I don't like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Hold on, definitely around the top for sure. on just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney said about those bounty hunters. What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. It's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So... Oh, that's amazing. Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We're we'll looking into it. Good. Like I said, when we set off, just start turning the soil. Low profile. the spot down to the left there This creek. One thing about these missions, they are very long and drawn out. They will never be like a short mission. Even the short missions are like 25 minutes. This could be a good and a bad thing. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on.
All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking than something big like a sturgeon. Strong with good up. Worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got, got, shit, got away. You got something biting, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. Okay, let's bring it around. Okay, let's rotate it. That feels like a bite. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. All right. Getting closer. Okay, how do we cook it in that? All right. Oh. All right. I see it. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Mama told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckons. <laughs> I would like to see that. Got one. Hey, Jose. Remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then the next week, Arthur and I are at the market and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's on the hook, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. You hooked him. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. 
Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You got a bite there, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Are you bored already, Arthur?
right. I think I... Well, I mean, we... are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful, and the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain, complain, complain!